Hello. In this video, we're going to explain the product of powers rule. Now, before we get started, we need to review the rule for exponents. So, for example, if we have x cubed, or x to the third power, that really means we're going to take x and multiply it by itself three times. So this really means x times x times x. And this works with any, any value, any quantity, and any exponent. So 3 squared could be written 3 times 3, which is 9. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what happens if we take something like y squared and multiply it by y cubed. Now, a common mistake people make is they see the 2, they see the multiplication sign, they see the 3, and they think that it will be y to the 6th. But this is not correct. So we're going to figure out what it is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the definition of exponent, uh, taking something to a power, and we're going to expand this. And this is something that you can do on your own if you're stuck with a problem. So y squared is y times y, and we've got the multiplication sign, and then y cubed is y times y times y. So when you think about it, what we've done is we've just expanded y squared, we've expanded y cubed, and now we have y, but it's being multiplied by itself, and you can count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y is being multiplied by itself five times. So to answer our original question, y squared times y cubed is y to the fifth. So now this is kind of curious, because we thought it was going to be 2 times 3 equals 6. So how do you get 5 from 2 and 3? Well, if you look here, we ultimately counted, which means we are adding. Let's try another uh, quick example. If you have p to the 4th times p to the 6th, now again, we're not going to do 4 times 6 is, is uh, 24. If you expanded p, and I'm not going to write it all out, but p times itself four times, times p times itself six times, you'd be four plus six, and then four plus six is ten. So this would be p to the tenth. So let's summarize this rule by using just straight variables. If we were to have x to the a and multiply it by x to the b, what do we do? Well, we have the same base, x and x, but our exponents are a and b, and in these previous problems, what we did is we ultimately were adding them. So the answer would be x to the a plus b. And this is the product of powers rule.